new firmware here. So what do we have? We have several big changes to start. We have a bunch of new tunings, new layouts, new scales, new options for the buzzer, new lighting options, and a bunch of other changes that really make this a complete overhaul of the firmware. So this has actually been completely rewritten. Big thanks to Nicholas Fox for all of his hard work in making this happen. I am so excited to show this to you. Oh, and one more thing I wanted to know is I'm actually upgrading the switches to a much quieter switch. Let's start going through it. We will start at the top of the menu. So we have our tuning. So you go and pick that out. And look, instead of just your standard 12 tones per octave, 12 EDO, we have 17, 19, 22, 24, 31, 41, 53, 72. And then we have other tunings like Bolin, Pierce, Carlos Alpha, Carlos Beta, Carlos Gamma. When you select it, it gives you a layout specific to it. You have a few options. So this one has Boston Cat Wilson, Porcupine, and full gamut. Another thing that it does in these separate tuning modes is it sends it as MPE, which is MIDI polyphonic expression, meaning each note is sent with a pitch bend value. So that way you can use your synthesizer on your laptop set up in a way where it sends the correct pitch to go outside of the standard 12 tones. Let me go ahead and show you what that would look like. So we have our 12 tones. <laughs> All of that, let's go ahead and change it to 17. And then we have. Or we can go to, I don't know, 31. That gives you an idea of the capabilities there. Again, when you change these tunings, say we go to 19, we have a different set of layouts here than if I go to say 12. So 12, we have a, a whole different set of layouts. And also we have a different set of scales for every tuning. And yes, that is quite extensive now, I, I love it. If you have any suggestions, you can ask and we will add them. It's not a problem. You have your scale lock like before, where you can set it to play like, say, C major. But you can play outside C major. But you can turn on scale lock. And now you can't play notes that aren't in C major. That's really fun for just jamming out, uh, practicing different scales, creative limitations, all that. Next, we have the control wheels on the side. So here we have this one. Oh, it's pretty. You can see it's been fading through different colors. This is your volume, um, so your velocity. So on the bottom, you have mod wheel and pitch bend. And then you have pitch bend. Now, these pitch bends and mod wheels can be changed. So if you go to control wheel settings, you can change the speed of the pitch bend, mod wheel, and velocity wheel on the sides there. Next, we have our color options. You have your standard rainbow, which has a you know red as your root note, and then it goes through the color wheel all the way back. First off, the color has been made much more distinct, so you can tell the different colors better from each other. I think the colors pop a lot more than they used to. You can also do different lighting modes. So there's tiered mode. When you go into a different tuning, the tiered mode actually is adjusted for each tuning. So we go to 17 and we get this set of colors. Or 19, we have this set of colors. And it's all designed to have colors based on the feel of the keys in relation to the root note. That gives us a lot of interesting sets of colors and a lot more fun. We also have alt mode. And this, I've been told, is based off of kite colors. Um, I don't quite understand what that is, but it's neat that it's there. On top of that, we, of course, have our brightness options. Uh, you can set it 
quite bright and um, you can set it quite dim as well. This is great for when it's nighttime in a dark room. Let's go ahead and set that back to normal for now. And then the animations, the code has been improved on it so that they run more smoothly, things like that. I believe it's all the same animations as before. Uh, but another thing it does do differently is you don't have to hold the note for the animation to play. I used to have it where you'd have to hold the note down for it to play the whole thing. This one plays the whole thing, which I think is much nicer. Let's go ahead and go down to synth options. This is something I, I never imagined would be doable on this, but we now have the option for different waveforms and volume control. By default, you start out in hybrid mode where you have square wave, saw wave, triangle, then sine wave as you go up the pitches. So it sort of smooths out as you go higher. You also have square wave, and when you're playing square wave, you can adjust your pulse width using the mod wheel on the side, which is fun. You got saw wave, you have triangle, sine wave, strings, and clarinet. All different waveforms that give you a little bit more to play around with there. And then on top of being able to do mono mode, you can play an arpeggio. Even beyond that, we can do polyphony now. So you can play up to eight notes at a time on this thing. Now it lowers the volume overall um, so that things don't clip, but you can play more than one note at a time, which another thing I thought was impossible on this hardware, but it is doable now. With all of that, you can go up and down in volume. So If you need to keep it quiet so you don't bother your roommate, you can bother them quietly like this. That's all of the changes there in the synth. And then we have a couple of advanced options. There's update firmware built into the menu. Instead of having to hold down the button, plug it in, and then drag the firmware onto it, you can just click this button, and then you just go on your computer, drag and drop the file onto the flash drive that showed up, and there you go. It'll update. Easy. <laughs> so if you have a hex board, you should update it right now. You'll need to hold the button and when you're plugging it in, but hold the button, plug it in, drag the firmware file on, and you are good to go. I am so excited about this firmware. You should be too, because this is a huge upgrade to what we had before and several things that I thought were not possible. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this and I'm looking forward to hearing feedback and more ideas for what sort of features should be added to this. Um, so anyway, have a great day, bye.